Welcome to Module 18, Lesson 2. Our I can statement reads, I can identify two-dimensional figures that have a line of symmetry. We can also draw all lines of symmetry on a two-dimensional figure. So we're continuing looking at symmetry in shapes. Right, so let's take a look at our first question. A computer club is designing new signs to have printed and displayed outside. The two-dimensional figures used for the signs need to be symmetrical. Trace, cut out, and fold the figures below in different ways to test for lines of symmetry. Identify the figures that appear to have line symmetry. Draw any lines of symmetry on the figures below. Okay, so it might be a little tricky because I'm not sure you can really cut these out. You can redraw them. Um, but go ahead and identify your lines of symmetry that you can find. Press pause and draw your lines of symmetry now. Okay, so I went ahead and marked a few that I think you might have found. Now, there are some other lines of symmetry that maybe you found that I didn't. Now, I'm going to show you. If we take a look at this square right here, I can fold it across its vertexes but I could also fold it across its straight sides. My triangle, I can also fold two other ways as well. No other shapes here. These three do not have a line of symmetry. This shape only has one line of symmetry. So let's take a further look at this. The polygons below are choices for the new signs. Which of the polygons are regular polygons? Now, if you don't remember that vocabulary, please pop down here. A regular polygon has all sides equal in length and all angles equal in measure. Okay, a good example of a regular polygon, right? The, side, the shape that I think of when I think of all sides equal is a square. Okay, a regular polygon means it's any type of polygon that has all equal sides and all equal angles. So looking below, which of our shapes are regular polygons? Well, I helped you with the first one, right? The square. The regular octagon, okay, so it's labeling it. It's telling you a regular octagon. I'm just gonna write octagon because that's all I can fit, but we know it's a regular octagon. and the equilateral triangle. Now remember, we can look at the little marks. This has marks all the way around, showing us that all sides are equal. Go ahead and do step B, pause the video, and identify the number of sides for the polygon. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and draw our lines of symmetry. So our isosceles triangle, we can cut vertically down the middle. Our square, we can go down the middle. We can go halfway there. If you remember from the last one, we can also go across its vertices. For our trapezoid, we can just go vertically down the middle. Okay, now we're on our octagon. So just like a square, we can go splitting its sides in half. And similarly to the square, we can split the, verti the vertices as well. And finally, our equilateral triangle also goes across its vertices. So now we need to determine how many lines of symmetry there are. Well, in an isosceles triangle and a trapezoid, it's pretty clear we only have one line of symmetry. So now let's look at our square. 
this might get a little confusing to count because you're like, ooh, there's a lot of lines here. Okay, so we need to make sure maybe we put a dot on our starting line. So that's our starting line one. So there's one line of symmetry, two lines of symmetry, three lines of symmetry, and four lines of symmetry. So same for the octagon. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines of symmetry. And our equilateral triangle, we have one, two, three. So what do you notice? When we had a regular shape, like a square, an octagon, an equilateral triangle, our number of lines of symmetry is equal to the number of sides. But this is only in a regular polygon. So not only do polygons have all equal sides and all equal angles, they also have the same lines of symmetry as number of sides. All right, so go ahead and complete your check understanding. Press pause and press play to check your work. All right, let's go ahead and check your work. For number one, we find that Rocco draws 12 lines of symmetry. So your explanation might have looked something like this. I know this because regular polygons had the same number of, of lines of symmetry and number of sides, right? So the number of lines of symmetry is equal to the number of sides in a regular polygon. For number two, we only had one horizontal line of symmetry. It's a little tricky because it kind of looks like the shape should fold like an hourglass, but if you look closely at it, this, these sides aren't equal to these, right? These are coming in at a steeper angle. So it just has that one um, horizontal line of symmetry. And our lovely shape over here has four lines of symmetry.